welcome back to my channel. I know y'all are probably like, what did this girl go ahead and do? But yes, I did. I did go ahead and dye my hair black. See, what had happened was I wanted to do it. <laughs> so I did it. I feel like I got to back up because y'all really can't even see my puff. Oh, there we go. But I feel like I'm too far away from y'all now. Okay. It is what it is. So, I want to tell y'all why I colored my hair. And I'm also going to show you some clips of how I dyed my hair. So, I colored my hair because, for one, I think that black is just like a sophisticated look. It's very sleek, especially like if I wear it back like in a bun. It's just every single thing. Black is a really great color. I just wanted to try it, so I did it. Um, another really major reason why I colored my hair is because I'm trying to get my hair to grow. It, it looks like it is growing though, I'm not gonna lie. So I wanted my hair to grow and I really want to do protective styles for the rest of the year. And I felt like with my hair color that I had, it's really hard to do that because it's hard finding a color that matched my hair. So originally, you know, my hair was magenta. Love magenta and mind you, I will be coloring my hair back magenta just to let y'all know like next year but for the remainder of this year it's going to stay black so originally I had magenta hair and then when my magenta started to fade it turned into this like brownish sandy orangish color <laughs> was really pretty like before I even colored my hair like when I was younger like that's the color that I wanted my hair to be and it's such a kawinky dink that when I dye my hair magenta and when that fades out it turns the color that I originally wanted it to be it's so cool so I love that color and if you see my previous video on my Havana twist I found a color that was the closest color I could find that could go to my hair, but I was still a little upset because it wasn't my hair color. Like, now it's easy for me, like if I want some box braids, which I will be doing some small box braids later on this year, I can't wait. So when I want to do like box braids, I could just go to the store and get a 1B. Girl, when I had my hair color, I literally will be in the store for like 30 minutes searching up and down trying to find a color like I asked the lady I was like is do you have a color that matches this and she's like oh let me find let me find and I'm just like oh my gosh like it was really hard and it got really frustrating at times because this summer I don't know where y'all at but this summer in the Carolinas it was hot do you hear me hot it was sweltering it was so hot here and did nobody want to wear their natural hair i didn't maybe like for a day or two but it was just too much like now because it's starting to cool off a little bit i'm girl yes let me wear my little puff out so um that really did play a major role into why i dyed my hair and also like this is an old wash and go and i feel like my curls are more defined or they're popping out even more like my little curls like look look at this little springy thingy right here this little springy hair right here like i feel like my hair is more defined in black like you can see more it's more definition that's the word i was looking for it's more definition to my hair and i absolutely love that so what the tail y'all <laughs> that 
I just hope that you're here for it. I'm here for it. I'm loving this puff. My puff looks so juicy fied. I love it. And before I even colored my hair, I thought my hair was black, but this is black. Like my hair must have been like off black, ashy black, charcoal black. I don't know what type of black it was, but it was not black like this. Like this is black. All right, so I'm using the Shea Moisture Color Cream, and the color I'm using is Soft Black. I used two boxes, and I'm just getting the gloves from the directions. Reading through the directions, it's very informative. It lets you know what to do step by step. Now I'm taking the Color Cream and the Developer and combining them. And they give you a top to put on it as well, and I'm just shaking that up really, really good and i just go ahead and apply it to my hair i don't apply it directly to my roots because my roots are already black so i really didn't need to do my roots so at first i was kind of worried like what in the world like why is this color not changing like why is it being applied to my hair in that color but as you see it definitely turned my hair black so I am just going to go ahead and finish that process and I'm just making sure that I got everything and just want to make sure I didn't leave any spots out. So after I let it sit on my hair, I did go ahead and rinse it out. I'm so happy with how the color came out. It came out really, really good. And per the directions, it tells you to shampoo your hair afterwards with a sulfate-free shampoo. So I'm just using my Camille Rose Natural Shampoo. And after I wash that out, I just go ahead and apply my hair mask that it came with. And I have four because I did buy two boxes and I used three. <laughs> just because I wanted to get everything, I just wanted to take full advantage of that. And now I'm just detangling my hair using a wide tooth comb and starting from the bottom. And I let that sit on my hair for about 30 minutes. I did go ahead and rinse it out and this is the finished product. My hair is super duper soft and it's definitely moisturized. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was very scared and very skeptical because the only thing I actually used to dye my hair was the L'Oreal High Color Highlights and that has been the only thing that's actually worked for my hair. Everything else I tried before that never took to my hair. So I did a lot of research before I actually colored my hair. And I've seen a lot of really good reviews on it. And the color took awesome. It took really well. I had no problems with it. I will definitely be using Shea Moisture again in the future if I have a color that I wanna dye it and Shea Moisture has it, I will definitely be using it. I really loved their box. I used two boxes because I have really thick hair, so I needed it. So I used two boxes and I love it because the boxes that came with the coloring you needed, it came with the gloves, of course the instructions, but it came with the applicator bottle for you. Um, it came with two hair masks that you need and they smell, oh my gosh, they smell amazing. And 
They smell amazing. I feel like it came with everything that I would ever need for that. So when I bought the L'Oreal High Color Highlights, I only bought the color. Like it didn't come in that box that the Shape Moisture did. I know L'Oreal has like color boxes that you can buy, but for the L'Oreal High Color Highlights, it was just the color. And so I would have to buy developer, um, gloves, you know, the little mixer, what else? Um, the hair treatment, like everything else was an extra expense afterwards. And with the Shea Moisture Box, I love that everything just came in one. And I got that from Target and it was on sale for $12.99. So yeah, that's really basically all that I have to say about my hair. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing some protective styles with it. I'm so excited, I cannot wait for that. I'm also going to be styling my hair with this black color, like perm rods, flexi rods, wand curls, 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 like everything. I just cannot wait to style my hair, but I'm not going to be like, in it every day because I'm trying to do low manipulation styles so that it can grow but I feel like it's growing child I feel like it's growing a little bit but I'm loving this curl pattern as well so yeah so let me know what you think guys let me know if you feel in this color if you've recently dyed your hair a different color tell me about your experience and let me know what videos you'll like to see in the future. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all on my next video.